Hi everyone, Nando Kichi here. This is now the part 2 of my DIY corset dress. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, go and watch it on my channel. For this part, I will be making the skirt of the dress. The full outfit will also be revealed at the end of this video, so stay tuned. I am now drafting the pattern for my gathered quarter circle skirt. I'll put the link below on how I got these measurements. The skirt is gathered on the waist, so I doubled my waist measurement. I drew a quarter circle. I also added a seam allowance of half an inch. The length, which is 38 inches, is measured on these sides. I'm also drafting a pattern for pockets because I believe it's necessary for every party dress. I made sure that my phone would fit inside. Ta-da! Now to cut the skirt, I placed it on one corner. Since my pattern is not big enough, I manually measured the length around the quarter circle. This is the front piece, and I divided the back piece into two for the zipper. Then I cut out two pairs for the pockets, and also this waistband. First thing I did was to attach the pockets. I measured 2 inch from the waist and pinned the pocket shiny sides together. I did the same with all the sides of my skirt pieces. I flipped open the pocket and top stitched it. This is how it should look like. After sewing all the pockets, I placed the front and back pieces shiny sides together and sewed along this part. After sewing it with a straight stitch, I went again and did a zigzag stitch. The pocket is done. I folded the edges of the back pieces to cover up the zipper. I did a zigzag stitch on all the edges first. Next is pinning them shiny sides together and sewing along the folded part. One fold is smaller than the other. Then I measured my zipper and marked where I will start sewing. I ironed it flat. Next is to sew the zipper. I attached it to the smaller fold first. I also changed into my zipper foot. The larger fold will be the part that covers up my zipper since I don't have an invisible zipper.
I really suck at sewing zippers. I swear I keep forgetting how to do it properly. Anyways, here it is now. Then I ironed the waistband in half. I also ironed a 1 cm fold on one edge. I cut out an interfacing for the waistband. Then I marked 1 cm from one edge and then divided the rest into 4 and marked it as well. I sewed together my interfacing and waistband. Next is sewing a running stitch to gather the waist of the skirt. I divided this stitch into segments to make it easier to gather the whole skirt. I repeated this to create two rows of gathering stitch. Now I pinned the center of the skirt with the marked center of the waistband, basically aligning the points that I marked on my waistband with the points of the skirt waist like the center, sides, and back. Then I took two threads to gather each part. And then I pinned them in place. After everything is pinned, it's time to sew. From here, I just folded the waistband and pinned it shut with the skirt sandwiched in between. Then I'm gonna sew it around. Next is the hardest part. I sew a running stitch around the hem and then ironed it. This part took me roughly 3 hours. I'll put a link below for a more detailed explanation. I carefully sewed the hem like so. Now for the final step, adding hooks. This is the only hook that I have and I don't recommend it because it's not too sturdy. I might actually change this with a better one because it kept opening up when I wore it.
I really love this dress and the fit is amazing and it's really not that difficult to make. I hope you learned something from this video and hope it helps you in whatever sewing projects you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.